50 years, Glenn Tilbrook has been writing songs and sharing the stage with lyricist and best friend, Chris Difford. I said to our lady, perhaps she said I may be. There's not a day goes by that I don't think how extraordinary it is that we lived half a mile from each other and managed to meet and that the chemistry between us would be so apparent from when we met still to this day. In 1981, the year Tempted came out, Rolling Stone compared the Squeeze songwriting team to the Beatles, Lennon and McCartney, a compliment that came with a curse. I think that's the only time in my life where, where I've ever felt uh, slightly uh, like I might be drying up for songs because I, I, it, that put an incredible pressure on us. I fancy this, I fancy that, I want to be so fresh. Tilbrook's catchy melodies often provide a counterpoint to Difford's bleak observational lyrics. Do you have a favorite of his lyrics? Was there ever a moment where he handed you something and you were like, wow? It's a song called I Think I'm Go Go. This world's got smaller, I'm shaking lots of hands. And the further away we get from writing those songs, the more they become like diary entries for me. And each verse in, in, in that song is about being either in London, New York, or Amsterdam, which is what we did uh, within one week in 1979. And that's when touring was still relatively fresh to us. Touring in 2021 is a different sort of beast. When we were rehearsing in London, I had a sort of semi-permanent fear of everything being canceled. The band isn't doing any meet and greets, just one of many precautions. It has to be that way, because you're not out of the woods yet by any stress of the situation. Happy days being with each other. Catching Squeeze in Action is an opportunity to celebrate one of Pop's great songwriting teams, nearly half a century after they met. It's one of life's incredible coincidences, and you can't help but wonder what if, what if, what if we did? What would have happened next? You know?